I think we need to face facts that our power is not going to go down in price. So we have to make decisions that are sometimes difficult and significant investment to help run a business. The Light Aircraft Company is the last light aircraft manufacturing company in the UK. We actually manufacture from raw materials and as such we have all the manufacturing equipment and we're sort of energy hungry to power that equipment. The biggest problem we had in sourcing our solar installation was finding a company that would be prepared to do it. We started this business in 2013. Me and my brother came together. We decided to get into the solar industry. We knew there was going to be this green revolution and we knew we could be one of the best companies out in East Anglia to be able to meet everyone's demands basically. The reason for choosing Impact were the spec of the equipment that they were proposing. We knew that the Green Revolution was going to be all about having enough electricians out in the market fully trained. That means every one of our engineers that you can see up on the roof at the moment have all been so trained. We look at it, the usage within the building, what they're using, how they're using or whether solar is just beneficial to start with. We're here Monday to Friday 8.30 till 5 and of course the solar panels don't recognise that, they're going to be running evenings and weekends as well. So it makes a significant dent in our kilowatt consumption during the working day. And moving to net zero is something that's really, really important for the planet, for the environment, for everybody's well-being. We have to act now and roll out even more engineers, more electricians out into the market. ECA really helped a lot with the technical side of things. With new guidance that came out recently, they guided us with the new regulations that we have to work to. We ring the technical helpline and you get an instant answer whereas looking through the regs can be a bit time consuming and they're not always to hand. With the help of the ECA and the guidance that is where this industry has to go for the sustainable growth of the UK trying to reach net zero by 2050.